Martinborough, a world famous wine village in the South Wairapa. Home to food and wine festivals, cycling tours, jazz festivals, over 20 odd vineyards and each February the best little golf pro-am on the circuit. G'day and welcome to the Martinborough Golf Club. My hometown, my home course, my place, my show. Let's go. The Spark Business Martinborough Pro-Am has been humming for nearly a decade now. The best golfing professionals from around New Zealand flocking to this slice of paradise that's just 270 metres from my front door. It's a tournament won by a who's who of Kiwi golf, including Josh Gary and Ryan Fox, and an event that's surely the most popular stop on the New Zealand circuit. So I'm here with uh, Ro Griffiths, who not only is my neighbour, but also the organiser of this fantastic Martinborough Pro-Am. Tell us a little bit about how you've got it here and what the history of the uh, Pro-Am is. Ten years, uh, Mark. This is our 10th anniversary of the Pro-Am. It was begun about 10 years ago with uh, Jimmy Napier. It was known as the Jimmy Napier Classic, and the Martinborough Golf Club Committee took it over about five years ago, and we've just got steadily bigger and bigger. There's 50 pros here, aren't there? 54 pros. I mean, it must be one of the biggest events in the country. The pros love it. They love coming to Martinborough because it's a friendly club and they love the course and it's not too difficult for them. They really enjoy it and they all hope to make some money. They don't just make money, but lifelong friends with their host families, which is why recently retired Auckland pro Richard Lee couldn't keep away. Now, Richard, there's a, you've actually didn't want to come back, did you? You were made to come back, if I'm correct. Is that correct? Yeah, I was told that uh, I wouldn't take no for an answer, so here I am. Yeah. And who made, was that Lockie? It was Lockie, yeah. yeah. Lockie, so. What's wrong with you? There's nothing wrong with me, but I've got to put up with this guy for the last five years because all he wants to do is come down and rabbit shoot, shoot here and forget about the golf. You know, for guys like me in Auckland, you get to come down here and do a lot of things you normally wouldn't do. Go shooting, being out in the boat, down docking in Nawi, lobsters and power, and this is awesome. I, I love getting in amongst it. Hunting, fishing, wine, why wouldn't you get amongst it? The pros also love the Martinborough course, even those hard to please types from Masterton. I'm here with one of the legends of golf in the wire wrapper, Sean, who's the professional at Masterton Golf Club, which I played at a couple of weeks ago and was terrible. But your greens are killers. I mean, but what's it like being here at the jewel golf course in the whole of the wire wrapper? Oh, that's a tough one. Um, yeah, no, it's good. And then the course is reasonably short and um, there's usually lots of birdies. It's, um, you know, it's, it's a good chance to play well. She can sting you though, can't she? Oh yes, there's trees. There's a yeah, lot of trees around yeah. and that's the defence of the golf course as far as I'm concerned, yeah. yeah I, I, I play it all the time and I think yeah. she's like the female tarantula. You know, once you've done a good shot, then she'll turn around and bite you. <laughs> and uh, and uh, you've got to get your number, wood, number one wood out to get out from under the trees. Time to take a guided tour of Martinborough Golf Club and I'm riding shotgun with greenkeeper Richard Whisker. So you regard the 12th as your signature hole, yeah? Oh, this, is your, this is your great hole. It's Tell us one about off. Why. Well, I, I will prevent myself from talking about the vines across the road and, and the thought of a nice uh, Pinot Gris, but uh, <laughs> no, the, the 12th is measures 187 metres. We've, we've got the pin on today such that its playing length is 189 metres. Pin's not hidden away, so they can have a good go at it. Now, Bella, your border collie, obviously loves driving around with you. I want to ask, can I enjoy driving around with you so you can show me some more hot spots around this fantastic Martin Golf Club? Very good, as long as you don't bark. I won't. <laughs> The Spark Business Martinborough Pro-Am has a prize purse of $15,000. Not bad for a day's work. And the amateurs can nab a cool 10K with a hole in one here on the 8th. Yeah, well, 118 metres, par three, stroke hole 15. A maker or a breaker. Fabulous cash prizes like that aren't possible without a little love from local and national sponsors. I'm here with Grant McBeath, who's the general manager of Spark. Um, Grant, this is a great opportunity for you to uh, get out there among the clients, I guess. Absolutely. It's great for uh, Spark to be out in the regions. It's the lifeblood of New Zealand economy, and uh, it's phenomenal to be with these local people and local communities and have a bit of fun and hit a few golf balls. And I guess having uh, Doug from Hawke's Bay as your pro probably helps a great deal as well. Oh, he's an inspirational player, that's for sure. He leads from the front, and he's been shaping the ball nicely today. He's uh, five under so far, and he's up for a big score. 
but not even Doug Holloway knows the local secret for mastering Martinborough. What do you do? I get out the number one wood. I'm serious. I get out the number one wood and I bend it. And it oh, works like a beacon. Do you want me to hit it for you? Here, go on then. All right. Where's your number one wood? We've got a ring in here. We've got Mark Hadlow. Lovely shot. Look at that shaping around that tree. Phenomenal shot by Hadlow here. He's got him right up there. He's in the money. Cheapers. Use it. Martinborough, that is the that is the secret number one shot here at Martinborough. Four golfers lit up Martinborough with a seven under par 65, including Harry Bateman, another pro from Dastardly Masterton. So Harry, congrats. Seven under, yeah? Yeah, thanks. That was a nice little birdie to finish up with. Yeah, I played really solid, just uh Probably had six or seven grazed edges on, on the greens too. So, so is that the best score you've had for a while? Uh, yeah, it is. And I had seven under last week. In yeah, where was that at? North, Pakaranga. Oh, Pakaranga, but it wasn't yeah. at Masterton though? No. Mm, but it, you just <laughs> so had seven under Sunday. here at um, Martinborough. <laughs> yeah. So secretly, I mean, this must be heading you towards being your favourite course, I think, yeah? It's getting up there. The game's coming back at Martinborough. Booyah! Wow. Well, I think you'll be a member here very short long, won't we? I mean, you'll probably... Honorary. Yeah, I think, well, not so much honorary, but, you know, cancel your membership at Masters and come play at Martinborough. Right, eh? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, listen, thanks, mate. Good luck in Victoria. Good. Cheers. Um, you heard it live. Harry the big one, right here. Seven under. Yeah. <laughs> at Martinborough. <laughs> Harry didn't take the chocolates. That went to Auckland's Sam Ann, who won the Spark Business Martinborough Pro-Am with a tidy eight under 64. He'll be back next year, and so will the other 53 professionals. So that's the Martinborough Golf Club. My golf club, my town, my show. Hope you've enjoyed spending time with us here. If you're ever in the area, you should drop in for a quick 18 or a glass of wine.